ओके गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ थर्ड ऑर्डर यूजिंग द वेरिएशन ऑफ पैरामीटर मेथड बेसिकली दिस मेथड इज वेरी यूजफुल फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द पार्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल वी हैव ए एग्जाम्पल विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस टाइप्स ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम एंड दिस इज द वेरिएशन ऑफ पैरामीटर मैथड ओके फर्स्ट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द वर्किंग रूल फॉर सॉल्यूशन ऑफ द थर्ड ऑर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन यूजिंग द वेरिएशन ऑफ पैरामीटर मेथड बेसिकली वी नो अबाउट द वेरिएशन ऑफ पैरामीटर मेथड इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी ऑलरेडी लर्न द सेकंड ऑर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड वी ऑलरेडी सॉल्व द सेकेंड ऑर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन यूजिंग द वेरिएशन ऑफ पैरामीटर मैथड इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ द थर्ड और डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन यूजिंग द वेरिएशन ऑफ पैरामीटर मेथड एंड फर्स्ट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द वर्किंग रूल फॉर सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस टाइप डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो द वर्किंग रूल ऑफ दिस टाइप डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इज सपोज दैट दिस इज अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन वाई थ्री प्लस पी वाई टू प्लस पी वाई वन प्लस आर वाई थ्री पी वाई टू प्लस क्यू वाई वन प्लस आर वाई इक्व टू एस where we have all the p q r and s are the functions of x and constants now uh first we calculate the complementary function uh with the previous method with the help of previous method and we know the uh, value of the complementary function because uh, first we calculate the auxiliary equation and the roots of the auxiliary equation uh, according the roots of the auxiliary equation we can arrange a complementary function right so this is a complementary function in which the c1 c2 and c3 are the uh, arbitrary constant now the particular integral for finding the particular integral of third order uh, differential equation using the variation of parameter method so let us consider the particular integral is the u fx plus v gx plus whx and uh, uh, for finding the value of the fx gx and hx uh, the uh, the process for finding the value of fx gx and hx is this is the d over dx fx equal to s over w and ronskin of u ronskin of v w and v1 w1 right when we find the value of f then we are using uh, for finding the ronskin the we are using the function for finding the ronskins are v and w when we finding the value of uh, g then we are using the uh, function for finding the ronskin are u and w and when we finding the value of hx we are using the uh, functions for finding the ronskin is u and v okay now uh, where the ronskin is we already uh, we already learned about the uh, ronskin and the value of the ronskin equal to u v and w and the in second row the first derivative and the third row the second derivative this is the first derivative of u uh, this is the second derivative of u right now <clears throat> let us solve an example using the uh using this method in this question we have the this is the third order differential equation y3 minus 3y2 plus 11y1 minus 6y equal to e to the power 2x okay first we uh, we can calculate the auxiliary equation this is the auxiliary equation and the auxiliary equation is the m q minus 6 m square uh, plus 11 m minus 6 equal to 0 when we Uh, when we take the roots when we find the roots of this uh, third order differential equation then we have the roots are roots are 1 2 and 3 the roots of this differential equation is 1 2 3 now according to thinking the roots we can uh, arrange the complementary function and the complementary function is uh, equal to c1 e to the power mx where m is uh, this is the m1 uh, so mx plus c2 e to the power 2mx And plus c3 e to the power 3m, right? Uh, this is the complementary function. Now, we need the particular integral using the method of variation pa of parameter. So, finding the particular integral, first we consider the particular integral. This is the particular integral. Let us consider the particular integral is this is the current particular integral u f x plus v g x plus w h x. Okay, and where u b and w are. this is the u the linear independent solutions are u, this is u this is the v and this is w okay we have the three values of u v and w uh, and now for finding the fx gx and hx uh, first we need to calculate the ronskin using u v and w 
so the ronskin equal to the ronskin of this function is the ronskin is e, uh, u is e to the power x v is e to the power 2x this is the e to the power 2x this is e to the power 3x e to the power 3x now the derivative of this is e to the power x this is the 2 e to the power 2x this is e to 3 e to the power 3x now the second derivative of this is e to the power x 4 e to the power 2x this one is 9 e to the power 3x right after solving this wrong scheme this determinant we can easily calculate the value of this determinant after taking the uh, e to the power 6x is common we have the 1 1 1 1 2 3 this is the 1 4 and 9 and the total answer of this wrong scheme is 2 e to the power 6x and this value is not equal to 0 and we already know about the if the wrong scheme is not equal to 0 then always the uh, solution are linearly independent okay now <coughs> this is the wrong scheme wrong scheme is 2 e to the power 6x now for finding the value of fx gx and hx now for finding the value of fx gx and hx <coughs> the value of fx first we find the value of fx uh, this is the d f x over d x uh, d f x over d x it is equal to s over Ronskin and the value of this is v w and v1 w1 and the value of s we have the value of s which is the right hand side function of this differential equation and this is the e to the power 2x right and upon uh, Ronskin the value of Ronskin is e to the power 6x the value of v v is uh, e to the power 2x now this is e to the power 3x uh, the differentiation of e to the power 2x is 2 e to the power 2x and this is the 3 e to the power 3x now okay after solving this this part after solving this part we have the answer of this uh, this value is e to the power x upon 2 you can easily solve this differential equation and after uh, the uh, value of this differential equation we can multiply this one is okay now this is the d over dx and fx equal to this okay when we take the integration uh, of this part then e to the power x upon 2 and dx right when we take the integration bo in both side we have the fx equal to uh, fx equal to 1 over 2 e to the power x okay similarly the value of gx similarly second value of gx uh, so the value of gx is uh, d over dzx over dx it is equal to minus s over w and uh, the wrong skin is u w upon u1 and w1 okay and this is equal to minus s minus e to the power uh, 2x upon 2 e to the power 6x right this is the value of wrong skin uh, and uh, u is e to the power x this one is e to the power 3x this is e to the power x this is the 3 e to the power 3x okay after solving this part we have the answer is minus 1 okay now we can calculate the value of gx this is the d over gx we can take dx is right hand side this is the dx and when we take the integration both side then we have the value of gx equal to minus x plus c okay this is the second part uh, x plus c okay this is the second part similarly the third part is the third is the d uh, fx gx and hx the d hx over dx okay this is the last uh, it is equal to s over w this is the u v and u1 v1 and when we put the value of s over w this is the e to the power 2x this is the uh, 2 e to the power 6x and the value of the wrong skin is e to the power x e to the power 2x this one is e to the power x again and we have d to the power 2x okay after solving this differentiation we have the value of e to the power minus x over 2 right and we can find the value of hx taking the integration both side then the value of hx is dh equal to e to the power minus x over 2 and dx when we take the integration both side then hx equal to we have the value of hx equal to e to the power minus x upon 2 
okay now we have the value of hx we have the value of fx we have the value of gx now we can easily find the particular integral of this function so the particular integral of this function is this is the particular integral and the particular integral of this function is okay this is the particular integral of this function is it is equal to uh, particular integral is uh, is 1 upon 2 the first is the uh, first is the fx we have the uh, we assume the particular integral uh, the particular <coughs> integral u fx plus v zx plus h uh, u and w hx okay uh, now the particular integral is u fx plus v gx and w hx we we have the all the values of the u v and w and fx gx and hx now the uh, the complete particular integral is uh, the value of u u is e to the power x the value of fx we have the value of fx is e to the power x over 2 this is a v we have the value of v is e to the power 2x the value of zx uh, the value of zx is minus x and plus last is uh, w we have the w is e to the power 3x the value of hx hx is minus e to the power minus x upon 2 okay now uh, this is a this is the complete particular integral and when we solve this particular integral then the complete solution of this particular integral is uh, e to the power 2x upon 2 minus x e to the power 2x and uh, this is the plus minus 1 upon 2 e to the power 2x we can cancel out this with this then the answer is minus x e to the power 2x this is the particular integral right so the general solution of this differential equation is we have the general solution is complementary function plus particular integral okay the complementary function we have the complementary function c1 e to the power x plus c2 e to the power 2x and plus c3 e to the power 3x okay and the particular integral is x e to the power 2x where c1 and c2 c3 are arbitrary constant or this is the arbitrary constant this is the arbitrary constant okay this is the answer of this question and students we can easily solve the differential equation using this method and uh, this is the special case for finding the uh, particular integral for third order differential equation using the variation of parameter method okay thank you